KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll change up the sky cam tonight, get you over to New York City, take a look at Freedom Tower on uh, September 11th. Uh, 75 degrees in New York right now and crystal clear. I'm sure a lot of folks uh, down at the memorial. If you haven't been, uh, really neat place. Uh, take, a, take a shot at it if you're heading to New York anytime soon. Here's an interesting stat. Four 100-plus degree days here. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Pick out your favorite city. They were 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. And uh, the hot spot, uh, 106, Boulder Creek today. So uh, some of us cooled off, others did not. So it's been a pretty solid heat wave, if, uh, if, if you didn't know. 83, Santa Cruz, 106 up in Boulder Creek, 89 in Watsonville. So a few spots at the coast cleared up uh, in terms of uh, the sun and the low clouds starting you off, and then a little bit of cooling, but 70s and 80s still way above average. But it's taken us a little while here to drop the numbers, especially inland. Uh, 80s here in Salinas, but still 98 in King City. That is all cooler, uh, but again, by only a few degrees over the last couple of days. 88 San Jose, still 100 in Gilroy, and 100 in Hollister. This should be the last of it. We'll start more cooling over the weekend. All of this tropical moisture coming up from what was Hurricane Linda at one point. She was a Category 3, now just down to a batch of clouds. And you can see a few showers off the coast, a couple more down south of the border there in Baja, and a little bit of extra humidity working in as well. We did have one little uh, flare up actually uh, just outside of Gilroy and between there and San Jose up over the hills there near Mount Hamilton. Uh, no rain reported, but uh, there's not a lot of folks up there either, although the Lick Observatory is there. So we'll check in just to make sure. Future cast showing our high pressure ridge starts to exit. We got an area of low pressure up in the Gulf, but it takes a while. All of this is subtropical moisture. Sunday, we're still pretty warm. Monday, Tuesday, that's the big cool down. We got two fronts coming in. If it was a month later, we'd maybe get some rain out of one of these guys. The second one is stronger. This is already out now towards Tuesday. You can see a good front here. This actually may make it just north of the Bay Area like Wednesday, Thursday of next week. So just kind of long-range plans looking at maybe at least a little rain in the state, but all to our north. Our heat is in still right now. It'll start to give up some ground by Saturday and more so Sunday. The big cool down, though, Monday into Tuesday, the whole state gets wiped clean. We're back to mostly 70s with a few 80s inland, and that's it. Tropical moisture moving up from the south. Our winds at the surface still out of the northwest. And Microcast tries to put down a shower or two tomorrow afternoon. Uh, best chances are going to be uh, over the southern parts of Monterey and San Bernardino County, up in the hills, and it's just a slight chance. So we'll see how it plays out. Otherwise, you got cloud cover around over the weekend, mostly that high level overcast and a little bit of humidity. Coastal low clouds, a possibility, a little bit of fog, uh, and then back to basically uh, partly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. Golf game looks good out on the peninsula. Tee off 9 a.m., about 68 degrees, no wind. And uh, somewhere towards the end of your round, probably mid 70s at the height of the day, there, keeping it partly cloudy. West winds 5 to 15. 80s and 90s, though, for the hills and valleys. We'll do 70s to around 80 at the coast. So if you don't have air conditioning and you haven't been able to get down to the coast, the weekend would be a good idea. You'll be cooler. 73 San Francisco, 87 in Mountain View. Middle and upper 80s to middle 90s. Again, about a 5 to 10 degree cool down inland, but it's still going to be hot. You've got to come down from 104. You get to 95, it feels a little better. 90 Gonzales, 78 in Salinas, and 93 in King City. Mostly 70s now at the coast, Monterey, Seaside, and Marina after overnight lows in the upper 50s. And Santa Cruz County, with an 80 down in Santa Cruz, cooler at the beach, probably low 70s, and about 95 still up in Boulder Creek and 80 in Watsonville. Seven day forecast showing, again, slight cooling and some clouds around over the weekend, mostly high overcast, mid 70s to mid 80s next week. And uh, finally, We'll say goodbye to the heat. I don't think we'll see any numbers close to 100 anymore for a while. 70s of the coast and then 60s and 70s next week. Thank goodness we can say goodbye to the heat wave. This uh, be a little more normal, yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Exactly. All righty. Well,